The Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal is a United States Armed Forces Military Award created by George W. Bush on March 12, 2003 by Executive Order 13289. It recognizes those military service members who have deployed overseas in direct service to the War on Terror from September 11, 2001 to a date to be determined. Prior to April 30, 2005 the medal was awarded for service within Iraq and Afghanistan, but has been replaced with the Iraq Campaign Medal and Afghanistan Campaign Medal and now serves primarily as recognition for personnel who have deployed in support of the War on Terror to locations beyond Iraq and Afghanistan. Criteria To be awarded the Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal a military service member must perform duty in a deployed status and must participate in designated anti-terrorism operation for a period of either 30 consecutive or 60 non-consecutive days of duty. For those who were engaged in combat, killed, or wounded in the line of duty, the time requirement is waived. The term deployed status indicates either temporary or permanent orders to a duty station outside the borders of the United States of America with such duty being in direct support of anti-terrorism operations. For a service member to receive the Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal, the deployment must also have taken place in a nation which is currently recognized as a base for anti-terrorism operations by the United States Department of Defense. Currently. The Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal may be awarded for approved operations performed in any of the following geographical areas. The following bodies of water are also approved qualifying areas, that portion of the Arabian Sea north of 10 degrees north latitude, and west of 68 degrees east longitude, Bab el-Mand, Gulf of Aden, Gulf of Aqaba, Gulf of Oman, Gulf of Suez, a portion of the Mediterranean Sea, Persian Gulf, Red Sea, Strait of Hormuz, Suez Canal. Additionally, personnel who participated in Operation Nomad Shadow are eligible for the award. On April 30, 2005, the Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal was discontinued for service within Iraq and Afghanistan, such service now being recognized with the Iraq Campaign Medal and Afghanistan Campaign Medal. Personnel who received the quotum for previous service in these two regions may elect to exchange the quotum or retain the original award. The Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal is a one-time only award. Service stars are not authorized. The Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal may be awarded with the arrowhead device for qualified soldiers. The Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal may be awarded with the Combat Operation Insignia for qualified sailors assigned to Marine Corps units. The War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal was designed by John Sproston of the Army's Institute of Heraldry. Reintroduction On October 2, 2014, the Pentagon announced that the Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal would be awarded to servicemen participating in the Operation Inherent Resolve against the Islamic State in recognition of their service. At that time, the operation had no official code name, but 1,700 troops had been deployed to Iraq in potentially dangerous locations. Troops participating in fighting against the Islamic State were not eligible for the Iraq Campaign Medal because it only covered service during Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation New Dawn. The medal means the operation is part of Operation Enduring Freedom that, although synonymous with the war in Afghanistan, is actually defined as a broad war on terrorism operation. Expeditionary Medal and Service Medal A similar medal, the Global War on Terrorism Service Medal was created under the same presidential order that authorized the GWOT Expeditionary Medal. The primary difference between the two awards is that the service medal is intended for those who perform support duty within the United States, while the Expeditionary Medal recognizes those who were deployed to foreign countries. For those participating in multiple operations, both the GWOT Service and GWOT Expeditionary Medal may be authorized but both medals can no longer be bestowed for the same qualifying period of service. The only exception is for service personnel who served in Iraq or Afghanistan prior to April 30, 2005. These personnel were awarded both the Global War on Terrorism Service Medal and the Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal. See also, Arrowhead Device, Awards and Decorations of the United States Military.
Secretary of Defense Medal for the Global War on Terrorism, References.